Associates, usability testing, both formal and informal, is a big thing in our world of technical communication and info design because we are obsessed with the audience, the purpose, and how they're gonna interact with our documents to reach their goal, their task, that end user action. Just a reminder, by documents, we do mean anything that our end users and our audience are going to interact with. So that could be a physical document, it could also be a website, a video, any way that we communicate our message to the viewer. As an introduction and baseline, here are three things that are gonna help us build a foundation when it comes to usability testing or usability studies for our documents. What is usability and who is it all about? Usability refers to the way that our target audience interacts with our documents to complete the goals that we intended them to be able to do. When we start a usability study, we are usually asking and ultimately trying to answer questions like, how easily can they find X information? Are all of the steps included in XYZ goal? How satisfied are our users with the experience? Do they feel confident and comfortable using the document? And does it meet their needs? Since we are obsessed with our audience, usability tests are all about our target users and how we can help improve their experience, help them navigate, and ultimately use our documents. At the basic level, the purpose of a usability test is to observe our users and identify the confusing structures, the missing information, and better ways that we might present our messages to the people that we're trying to support. Usability is not a specific thing so much as a point on a spectrum with overlapping factors that change the user's experience. Again, as an introduction and a baseline, we are looking for improvements in sort of the writing style and organization of the thing. So with that in mind, we might evaluate several factors and areas that relate to our messages and those structures. Efficiency is how fast our users can complete a task, which helps tell us information about our intuitive kind of design or logic and information flow. Accuracy is how often our users encounter errors or get the wrong information than we intended. This can tell us a lot about our writing clarity and that organization if our readers think they have the right info, but then we realize that's not actually accurate or what we thought they were going to find. And satisfaction. We can always ask users how they like the product or the document. Our audience isn't accessing our information just for fun. Remember, they needed to complete a task or to do something, make a decision. So the least we can do is make it easy to use and a positive experience. To test for all those things, we need to set up scenarios with tasks that we can observe and then measure. To get started on developing some of your scenarios and tasks if you feel stuck, it can always be a good idea to try writing as many words as you can think of that relate to your document and the audience. Here's a few examples. Create, pay, schedule. These are all great verbs that might relate to a document or a website that a user is on. Then we can complete the rest of the sentence with a task that we want to observe. So it could be create a new document from the template. We could actually ask our audience to pay your outstanding bill with invoice one, two, three, four. Or you could ask them to schedule an appointment by calling the North office. So basically the task in usability testing is what it sounds like. We come up with actions or tasks that we can ask our users to complete and then we actually watch them or look at our analytics to see how they perform with some metrics. Now a metric is a measurement that allows us to compare and track performance. For example, your grades in a class are a metric that compare and track your performance with learning. We need to outline the metrics for our usability tasks so that we know and can actually track our document's performance, especially then as we revise, make changes, we could compare usability tests to see if we achieved kind of our goal of improving that document's style, writing, organization, or other outcome. 
Here are some really common metrics that we tend to use just to get you started. Of course, there are so many more and they will often depend on your industry, your job function, and your document itself. But for most cases, you're gonna be doing things like successful task completion. Give your test users a specific action and see if they're able to do it. You should also note you know, errors or places that they get lost. Error-free rate, the portion of test users who complete the task without any problems at all. This would be reported as something like 89% right, of the test users were able to complete it, or you know, first try, no errors, no bad screens, no inaccurate information. Time on task or paths, the amount of time it takes to complete your task or how many clicks, page turns, files need to be used to get to that end task. With this, you're really tracking how the user is getting to that info and trying to decide, is that the path you intended? Is that the most efficient path? Or are they clicking and turning and asking around, kind of missing that most direct way to get the info? Participant feedback. Ask the test users questions about their feelings and experiences. You could use a scale, like on a one to five, rate how easy it was to find X, Y, Z, or keep it open-ended for comments. Sometimes these open-ended comments, especially in smaller scale usability studies, can be really insightful. Just ask them, how'd you feel? What'd you get stuck on? Have them think aloud and write down their comments as they're going through your tests and your scenarios. There are a lot of ways that we go about testing usability. Again, it will depend on your job role, your company, your audience, and your product. But those are the ones that you can definitely feel confident getting started with, even if your primary job here is not in technical comm. These are gonna help you start getting to those tests and those standards that measure things like efficiency, accuracy, and satisfaction. How do we report out and act based on our usability tests? Now, once you have all of your data together, you need to package it in a way that actually leads to action. This video, again, is just about the baseline and your final deliverables will always depend on your company, your client, and your readers. But whether it is a short, informal kind of memo just to your project team or an extensive formal report that will be released, maybe larger stakeholders out in the company or even the public, we are probably going to include a few really core items related to usability. First, always we wanna talk about the context of what was tested, right? We need to explain a little bit about the document and why usability testing was needed and valuable. Then we need to provide explanations of the test itself. That's going to include who the participants were, think in terms of personas and demographically speaking, our audience statements, not the specific individuals that you pulled in. We also need to talk about the tasks, the scenarios, the actions we asked them to complete, the metrics that we were measuring, and just the aspects of what actually was being tested. Always we gotta talk about the results with a big discussion on the gaps, the good parts, the participant comments, and anything else that is gonna lead to your recommendations for action. The purpose of the report was ultimately to take action. So make sure you have something to recommend. Even if the big recommendations are more testing is needed in XYZ area because of, or this design worked best because of XYZ and should be implemented in more places. And just like that, you're ready for a basic usability test for your document. Let's just review how to get started one more time. First, a usability test is when we observe our target users interacting with documents to complete tasks. The task we designed should test something about the writing style and organization of our document to help us find places to improve the efficiency, measured through things like speed and attitude, Accuracy, measured through things like the error rates, and satisfaction, measured through our user feedback and potentially questionnaires. Last, we put our context on the document, explanation of our test, including who we tested and how, and our findings with actionable recommendations into a report. The report might be a short memo to our design teams or a full-blown formal report, depending on our stakeholders and role. 
I think it's pretty cool stuff to get started. And if you agree, you can always dig way deeper into different kind of reporting formats, protocols, ways to organize a really in-depth, very formal usability study. But even if you don't go that deep, all of our documents can benefit from taking a little bit of time and running it past a peer for review and seeing how are they going to use that tool. Thanks, associates. Vibes.